and welcome. So we are drafting the basic draft. You need to get this worksheet first. Link is in the description box below. It just lists out the things you need, maybe pen, pencil, paper, etc. It has a fraction decimal conversion table. And here you can work out all your math. You can do this exercise in inches or centimeters. I now have a sample for you where I have filled in measurements so you see how it works. This has full length front, full length back, your hip plus two inches of ease and a quarter of that, your hip depth, your center back, half of that, your neck, across shoulder, half of that, your shoulder, your bust depth, your bust plus two inches, half of that, a quarter of that, your upper bust plus two inches, and a quarter of that, across chest, half of that, across back, half of that, a waist plus one inch, and a quarter of that, your apex, and half of that. Side measurement, armhole. It's a lot of measurements for this technique, but it's more advanced. Now you have your neck width, which is times 0.2, which is just basically um, fifth of your neck. And then you have your neck depth, which is your neck width plus half an inch. We have our armhole depth for the front, which is your bust depth times 0.75, that's three quarters of your bust depth. Then you have your front upper bust, which is a quarter of your upper bust plus three eighths of an inch. You have your front bust, which is a quarter of your bust plus three eighths of an inch. Front waist, quarter of your waist plus three eighths of an inch. Then your waist start, which is your front bust minus your front waist. So you take your front bust minus your front waist here. Whatever you get, you divide it into three and we'll be using two thirds of that for our dart. So whatever we get, we'll multiply that by two. You can round it off to the nearest eighth of an inch to make it easy to use, okay? So you don't have to use odd um, fractions. Now front hip is quarter of the hip plus three eighths of an inch, once again. And then back bust is half your bust minus the front bust. So whatever is left is the back bust, obviously. And <laughs> I'm pointing out that your measurement is already there, so you don't have to calculate that twice. Okay, right. So our back waist is a quarter of a waist minus three eighths of an inch. It is minus, not plus. Back waist dart is back bust minus back waist. Take your measurement, divide by three, and multiply that by two because we are using two thirds. And finally, our back hip is a quarter of hip minus three eighths of an inch. So moving down, you have a blank template for you to use to do all your measurements. Remember, you can visit the website where I have all this in written, fully illustrated instructions. And finally, this is what we shall be drafting. And these letters, you don't have to memorize them or anything. They're just for us to understand each other and communicate. So starting with clean lines, I always draw a line at the edge and a line at the top at 90 degrees from each other. A to B is our full length front. B to C is our hip depth. I'm just gonna square the short line from C, which we'll use later. Square one at B2, we'll use that later, and there's one at A. Right, now from A to D, we're putting in our half across shoulder. D to E, put in a short guideline of about two inches or five centimeters. A to F our neck width A to G our neck depth A 
F to H our shoulder. You put in your shoulder measurement from F and make sure it touches the guideline of D and E. So that's H. I'm going to put in a short guideline at right angles to the shoulder. This is just to help connect your front and back later. And we are drawing in our neck. Now we are putting in our upper bust. So this is A to I. You're going to go with your armhole depth. I to J, your front upper bust measurement. Always square a short guideline first. And put in your measurements. Next, A to K is our bus step. K to L is our front bust. As you can see, this is similar to what I did in our normal bodice. Now between G and I, find the midway point or halfway point. We call that point M. And square across. M to N is half across chest. Now you put a guideline from point N. to J just up and down like that and draw in your armhole I also like to square down from the shoulder just slightly Connect J to L, that's the beginning of our side. And that pretty much finishes the top. Now moving down to the waist and the hip. So B to O is our front waist plus dart measurement. C to P is our front hip measurement. Connect O and P with a curved line, a gentle curved line. Don't make it overly curvy. Connect L and O with a straight line and that completes our side. Now we'll put in our apex from point K. So K to Q is half apex. From point Q, just square down all the way to the hip.
let's call this R and S. Now point R, we're going to put in our waist dart. So for instance, my dart is one inch. It means I'm going to go half an inch on one side and half an inch on the other side. So you spread it equally. We'll call this point T and U. Now collect all the dots. And that completes the dart. Now we are going to put in our waist dart. Measure line J to L to O, and then you subtract the side measurement from it. Whatever you get is L to V. So I got about one and a quarter inches and or one and a half inches. So L to V was one and a half. And then you connect Q to V and you have your side dart. This basically completes the front. Now you can just extend from points P and C downwards whatever length you want for your dress. By default you can just go to say maybe where your knee is so you can go from waist to knee, measure your waist from point B down to your waist um, to your knee and that's okay it doesn't matter just extend it the length you want. Now for the back I've already extended my waist and hip line. You don't have to do this. You can draft your back on a separate sheet of paper. They are not connected, okay? So starting at the top again, A to B is our back length measurement and B to C is our hip depth measurement, just like the front, okay? Next, B to D is our center back measurement. So B upwards to D is our center back measurement. And then A to E is our cross shoulder measurement. E to F, we're going to go down and put our guideline. And then A to G, we're going to put our neck width. Neck width is A to G. First, we're going to put in our shoulder. So this is G to H. Start from point G and make sure it lands on your guideline. And the waist, B to I, we're going to put our back waist plus dart. And here I made a slight mistake, but I will correct myself. Then C to J, you're going to put in your back hip. Connect I and J. At point D, I'm just putting a short guideline for the neckline. So, okay. Drawing the neckline. Connect your waist to your hip. So you see I've corrected myself, I got the waist slightly wrong, so anyway, we're back on track. Now we need to know how wide our back bust is, so that we know where to put our side measurement and all that. So what I like to do, 
here you're not measuring you're just going to go roughly between line b and d just somewhere in the middle just you do this by eye okay and i'm just going to square out a line with pencil this line the measurement is your back bust measurement okay so i'm just squaring out this guideline put in your bus your back bust measurement and then we'll square another guideline perpendicular to this so we now know how wide the back should be that's the important thing we just call this star to star it doesn't matter okay and then next from point i at the waist we're going to go up and put in the side measurement the important thing is that you want to go from point i and we want to touch that guideline wherever it lands okay <laughs> mine just so happens to land almost at the exact spot so i was I kind of just got it but anyway so that is now point K and from point K you square back across so we have established that then we're going to put in our cross back which is between point D and point L we'll call that point M Remember, you can always go to the website and see the written instructions and illustrations so that you don't get confused. So M to N is our half across back measurement. Now half of this is going to help us find our dark point. So half of that line MN, I'm going to go from L to O and I'm just going to square down all the way down. So we'll call this P and Q. At point P, we're going to insert our back dart. Remember, whatever it is, make sure it's equally distributed on either side of P. So if it's one inch, you should have half an inch on either side of P. I'm going to call this R and S. Connect OSQ and ORQ, and you have your dart. Now we'll complete the armhole and that's where we're putting our back shoulder dart. First find the midpoint of line GH, your shoulder. And we'll connect it to O with a straight line. So let's call that T. And about three quarters of the way, just above the across back line or three inches or eight cm down the line from point T. Either one is good. You're going to put point U. All right, now from point U, you're just going to square across to the armhole, just a straight line. So we're putting the dart in the armhole. Call this point V. Now we're going to put in a pinch of a dart. <laughs> I just call it a pinch. It is about half an inch or 1.56 cm, 1.2 cm. Put this on either side of V. So I'm putting a quarter of an inch on one side, a quarter of an inch on another side, like that. And that is our half inch dart. This basically completes the back. 
So we have two dots here and we're just going to cut it out and through our pattern. So remember, you can extend your pattern to whatever length you want because this is essentially for a dress. Just make sure it's the same as the front. Okay, cut it. So we need to true the dart on the side. I fold at the crease, fold at the lower leg, and just close it up. Then I straighten the line out. Just go from the waist to the underarm in a straight line. and cut. Okay, that's for the front. For the back, we need to do the shoulder dart. I'm calling it the shoulder dart because it is really about shaping the shoulder of your but it's that's what it's for so i close that up same thing you just want to smooth it i'm doing this by eye and we are done so make sure you check your neckline that is a smooth line check your armhole that is a smooth line and that's it have a good day bye